do you think I am? Just a buffalo soldier. Just a buffalo soldier. Just a buffalo soldier. In the heart of America, stolen from Africa, brought to America. Said he was fighting on arrival, fighting for survival. Said he was a buffalo soldier, win the war for America. Buffalo soldier, red luck rasta, fighting on arrival, fighting for survival, even to the mainland, to the heart of the Caribbean. Singing, why yo yo, why yo yo yo, why yo 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 yo, why yo yo. Why you, 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 trying to someone in the arms of America, trying to Jamaica, Buffalo, Cuba, finding on arrival, working for survival, Buffalo soldier, Dreadlock Rasta, why No more walks. <laughs> Come on, man. My cousin, just like that. Acest Buffalo Soldiers were United Army, were United States Army regiments that primarily comprised African Americans, formed during the 19th century to serve on the American frontier. On September 21, 1866, the 10th Cavalry Regiment was formed at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas. The nickname Buffalo Soldier was purportedly given to the regiment by Native Americans who fought against them in the American Indian Wars and the term that arrived to territory Indian. And the term eventually became synonymously with all the, of the African American U.S. Army regiments established in 1866, including the 9th, the 9th Cavalry Regiment, 10th Cavalry Regiment, 24th Infantry Regiment, 25th Infantry Regiment, and 38th Infantry Regiment. Although several African American Union Army regiments were raised during the American Civil War, referred to collectively as the United States Colored Troops, Buffalo Soldiers were established by the United States Congress as the first peacetime all black regiments in the U.S. Army. In the, the, the regiments were racially segregated as the U.S. military would not desegregate until 1948. On um, September 6, 2005, Mark Matthews, the last surviving Buffalo soldier, died aged 111. 
He was buried at Arlington National Cemetery. De hecho, me dice, es muy interesante. Sí. Bueno, de hecho, esta es probable que luptaba pentru pentru norte. Y ahí han así más de mucho que pentru sud o luptado no era care Polignac, era un nobil mare francés militar a luptat și în Crimea și după, că, după ce și-a încheiat războaiele și astea, s-a dus la el acasă și a început să ocupe cu muzica și cu matematica. Și el a luptat în armata sudului și era foarte prețuit de oamenii lui, era general. Ce era general el? La ce era el general? Numai că oamenii lui nu puteau să-i pună, să spună numele Polinia, că erau americani și ziceau Polcat. Și nu nu dar am vrut asta. Era un tip foarte simpatic, acest Poliniac. Familia Poliniac, de fapt, e o mare familie nobiliară din Franța și ea de la Pui. Probabil că a fost un Poliniac care a fugit, de a făcut atunci satul. 1400. Au dus oameni și, și, și Gabriel Polastron, Poliniac. A fost căsătorită cu un Poliniac și a fost doamna de onoare a tipei ele, cum o cheamă. Ea a fugit în Austria, Gabriel Polastron, iar șefa ei, adică regina, sau ce era, cum o cheamă. Maria Antoinette, nu? Aia a fost. No. Ahora está todo.
Mapuțin, și aici am putea să mă gândim la paică, nu știu, când am copil. Unul care e poet, știi? Tot ce se face. Buffalo soldier, dreaded like a rascal. He was the buffalo soldier for the heart of America. Stolen from Africa. America, Buffalo Soldier, from the pulpit of Godelia. Oh, yo, 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 Buffalo Soldier, driving. Buffalo soldier, have to stop the train. Buffalo soldier, in the heart of America. Whoa, yo, yo. Buffalo soldier, dream like a Aceasta fiind spuse, deci au fost niște tip bă, acolo care s-au împușcat între ei. In the war of in the war of in the war of um, In the war of um,
in the order of them against themselves, right? 